Hey there, all my Blade Brothers again. It is me, Double Blade, and we are here to play some more Spelunky. Uh, this is another episode of Spelunky. Hopefully, I can get actually to the jungle this time. I know, I know. I never give up. I never give in, and I never surrender. We will get to the jungle. That is the goal for today's video. It's just the jungle. If I don't succeed in that, then I can't call myself a gamer. <laughs> So, let us try to do this. Hopefully you guys can see me good enough. Okay. So, I gotta remember what I'm using for the controller buttons. Okay, that's... okay. El walls are shifting. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. I forgot I can use the directional buttons for this. Okay, so that one's to place a bomb. That one's for whip. And that's for rope. Okay, okay, I get the buttons now. Okay, I haven't played this in forever, so... Hopefully everything's recording and doing things properly. I think I have my OBS set up properly this time, so you might be able to hear my voice. We will see when I'm re when I'm editing the recording if I have the actual mic set up properly this time. It's probably my mic is too loud, I'm guessing. Which, if it is, then you guys can tell me on the audio and we can fix it in the next video. I'm guessing my mic is too loud, though. That's what my guess is. Ah. Ah, oh, that's what I get. That's what I get. That's what I get for trying. I smashed the bat in the face. Yes, I did. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm gonna step on you. Oh, no. He killed me. He killed me with venom. He destroyed me. Uh, he was Eddie Brock the whole time. Spider-Man reference. I don't think anybody gets it though. So, uh, popper. I got a popper as a sacrifice. Ooh! But you can't sacrifice on level one. So it's gonna be the one to give me more life. Oh yes, it's great. All right, so I gotta get this and throw it over here. Okay, grab this. Go down here. Grab him. I need 50,000 if I'm gonna get to the City of Gold. I doubt I will this episode, but we can see. Let's see how skilled I am on this. Probably not very. Oh, well, never mind. Apparently I'm very skilled. I'm just trying to get 10,000 before the first thing. Ah, that hurt. Ah, that hurt. Oh, God. Well, luckily I have the pooch inside the doorway, so... And I died from the spider not realizing it was there. Okay, well. That worked out well amazingly. That was the most amazing series of events that have happened all year. Hashtag amazing. <laughs> oh dear. Get that, get that, go up here, get this. I really should stop rushing through this level. I mean, I have all the time in the world, at least until 4 p.m. I have to get to work. gonna be a part of my life gaining regimen. <laughs> it's almost too sad to see you go. Alright, I had 
had to sacrifice you. Ah, trust AG! Alright, smacked him in the face. Smacked him, ah, not in the face. And I lost the doggo because I whipped it one too many times. It could not handle the whip. <laughs> no, no, Taylor, PG-13. Gotta make this PG-13. No talking about whips and chains. Even though that's kind of PG-13. The only time it gets worse than that is when those whips and chains come off, but... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta get these ropes. Oh no! Of course, I never said my channel was for children, so I mean... I don't really have to worry about the uh, censorship, I'm pretty sure. Of course, I could be wrong. Most definitely could be wrong. I am going to buy this! Because this is a really great item to have. And yes, it'll get rid of my ability to go and get stuff from the black market, but... I mean, do you really need to buy stuff from the black market when you have a shotgun? Seriously. That's life's greatest question. Do you have to buy stuff when you have a shotgun? The answer is yes, you definitely have to buy stuff. Never steal from the store, it's wrong. You're gonna become stronger than a hunch. Okay, grab a go in there. Okay. I got bomb. I got sticky. I got uh, a spider area. I mean, that I mean, some of those are wrapped up with uh, coins and stuff, but I mean, there's so many spiders in the area, it's probably not worth it. Hey, a cape. That's great. That'll help me get slower descent so I won't die as quickly. Alright. Grab them. them, grab them. I might actually get the 50,000. I don't know. Really? That hop wasn't high enough to grab the ledge? See, uh, see this is what I mean by I suck at games. I, I literally, I, I, I beat Sans, the skeleton, in Undertale. That's one of the hardest endeavors I've ever done. I've done other hard games. I've almost beat freaking Dark Souls. But like... I don't know what it is about like random number generated games that like they just don't seem to want to agree with me. RNG does not like me. R and Jesus doesn't favor me. R and Jesus isn't my friend, you see. I still got the dog as a weapon. That seems like a terrible thing to say, which it is. But it, at this instance, the dog's dead, so I mean... It, in this game, it's better to use it as a weapon when it's dead instead of suffering the pangs of dying yourself. And I mean, I can always find another dogo to make myself have life. 
I am the necromancer of this world. I resurrect the doggos. here and I gotta get down here oh just okay I think I almost died all right I'm gonna buy those bombs because I'll need them I have no idea how I've survived that entire onslaught of enemies, but yay me. I do not have sticky bombs, so I can't get that doggo, but that's okay. That's okay. There's always more. There's always more doggos. I think the total population of dogs in on in and on the earth I think is like 250 million but I'm not 100% sure on that uh, I, I don't know the exact amount I just know there's a lot of them. grab the pug the reason I have the pug as the only uh, damsel in the game is because if you hit the pug icon multiple times in a row uh, you can actually, uh, get a sloth as a damsel, and my cousin wanted to play with the sloth as the damsel when he was playing with me, so... I get the pug as the main character of my little escapade. Well, well there's still a good sacrifice there, so... It's not worth as much dead, apparently. So this is a lot more than I expected. I expected to have m less uh, monies than this in the game so far. I'm also probably going to summon the ghost before too long if I'm not careful. So what I need to do is I need to I need to get to the end as quickly as possible and gather up all the resources that I have here. that grab that All right. get up here I'm gonna have to use a bomb on this I have no choice in the matter can't get through there otherwise smack him get that I have the 50,000 I'm pretty sure for the for the uh, <laughs> black market so hopefully this this stage here has the key probably does, which means it's probably on the left up here. I cannot tell. Now, well, I'm going to grab the chest anyway, because... There's the key. Wait for it.
Juan. I'm gonna have to buy one kiss from the dog for extra health. I can't grab the dog itself. So I tried to do that. Uh, the shopkeeper would probably be very mad at me and it would cost a hell of a lot of monies. So, yeah. I'm not a cheapskate. I just don't like spending money that I don't need to spend. I'm sure people understand. The same in real life. If I can't, if I don't need to spend the money, I won't spend money on it. Alright, I made it to the jungle, so that's great. And I have a lot of life, so that's another great thing. There was a mattock there, wasn't there? Ah, great. Bomb frog. I don't think I'm going to be able to uncover the uh, black market without them. Huh. Oh, ho, ho, that was a risky maneuver. But I am the king of risky maneuvers. The king of risky maneuvers. We all know how risky maneuvers work. They're risky. That's why they're maneuvers. And they're risky. And I'm going to get the pepper snap. Why won't it let me grab you? Okay, there we go. why it was a risky maneuver because I didn't want to touch him if I touched him he would have eat me no matter how much health I had he would have ate me ow and I got more bombs great 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 oh no oh no oh freaking no Oh no, this is bad. They're gonna kill me! Yep, I knew the big B would kill me because I freaking didn't throw a bomb on him. I should have threw a bomb up there. But I was so close to it, I was afraid to do so. I knew that that jungle would kill me. God dang it. It's every time. Every time I get somewhere new, it kills me. It's almost like the game has it out for me. Well, I guess what my brother said is true. You never really get good at uh, Spelunky. You just get better each time. He is a wise old fool. But what are you going to do about that? I mean... Okay, grab that and that. Climb down here. Get up here. Climb up here. Jump across. Go down. Left. That's okay. I got the pupper.
in the world would I do that? Huh. Okay, it's not worth it. That's one way to break it. <laughs> and I'm going to squish the skeleton. I'm gonna squish the skeleton. Got him. Then the doggo licks me in the face, gives me more health back doing that. Which I don't get how that would work in reality, but I mean, yeah. We'll say we'll say it's fine. I need the bombs more than I need the ropes, I think. Okay, so that was a scorpion pot. That's, uh, good to know. Apparently there's a key on this level. And I don't know where it's at. But that's okay. Oh, well that's where it's at. Uh, I needed the bomb more than I needed the... No, uh... uh. Well, it looks like I'm not getting to the City of Gold on this one. That's fine, though. Unless I can get, like... Unless I can get to the Black Market by random chance. <gasps> Which is possible to get to the Black Market by random chance. But that also means I don't have to really worry about money right now, either. So, I'll grab that and that. And the Parachute. That means I can get to Olmec at least, which is still an accomplishment. I forgot I have the climbing gloves. What the heck is wrong with me? How can I forget the climbing gloves? Seriously. My friends always say uh, the how dare you situation happens with the shopkeepers a lot in this game where the shopkeepers like to try to sell you a shotgun when you don't have enough money. They, also, they call it the how dare you situation. I need to go get the torch for that. See, I think I can climb up here and grab these two suckers. Alright, and I don't know if I can necessarily climb back up. Oh, yep, so I can. Okay. But I don't have any ropes to get up there, so... Poop. Ah, 
I did not grab the paste, but that's okay. I donated a bomb, didn't I? Nope. and will help me greatly. I also have to get down to the tiki. Nah, poop. How was I so low on life? I don't know why I was so low on life. I'm trying my best, guys. It looks like I can't call myself a gamer. I mean, I am making it to the jungle more frequently and consistently. Just, well, you know, you know what I mean. I want to go past the jungle, not just be in it, you know. But that's fine. thousand gold is probably what you need to start to be able to uh, continually if you farm 10,000 gold per stage at about the jungle level when you get to the black market generally you will have enough gold for the Ankh and then it's just getting to the uh, ice caves after that Really, really out of ropes. So, yeah. can't afford that because it would be silly to try to afford that. That'd be freaking stupid and I'm not freaking stupid. We all know I'm not freaking stupid. We all know I'm not freaking- Ow! Okay, I'm freaking stupid. We have announced that I'm freaking stupid. I'm the stupidest person I know. Oh, I'm so freaking stupid. I'm so, so freaking stupid. I'm so freaking stupid. We all know this now. It also could be because I'm rushing. Well, I lost my uh, extra health, so that's okay grab this extra bombs because I'm going to need them even with the sticky bomb factor. Ah, poop. I thought it would trigger, but apparently not. Okay. That's BS. I say that's BS because that's complete BS. Anybody agrees that that's BS, right? BS in the comments, because that was BS. I mean, you put spikes down there, so if I leave down the damsel to be able to get further without dying myself, and then you leave an arrow trap at the very end into some spikes. 
Just, I don't know what to do with you. And I got the damsel here. I'm going to hopefully use it to be able to save myself some extra headache. Got it, got it, got it, got it, okay, okay, there you go. Got him, okay. Got it. And, alright, cool. That's 10,000. Actually, that's 11,000. I'm at three hearts. Uh, I hate these because you never know when there's going to be something in the way to kill you. Like that. I mean, this leads to the Matic, so it's good on that end, but, like, it doesn't tell you that right away. I like the dark levels because they're a great way to get gold because they every one of those torches drops a little bit of gold but I hate it because then I have to manage my resources and not die so that's that's the reason I hate it and the reason I love it alright so there is the chest Oh, that's my uncle playing Valheim. Hmm. Okay, so there's no ch there's no real uh thing up there, but that's fine. I could go for the damsel, but I don't want to risk it. It's a very risky proposition, so... I'd prefer to just go ahead and, uh... Try to survive without the damsel. It's risky biz new! Alright, got that. Now, just where the hell is the key is the question. There's no key over here? What the heck? Where's the key? Mm. Yeah, my guess is the key is over here. Uh, 
Well, you know what? Fine, since I, I dug all the way over there anyway, why not? And I can't find the key. So, it's probably up top. I probably missed it. Let's just grab this and some rope. Going to here next. I mean, with the Matic I can dig pretty pretty much everywhere, so I mean even if I don't have the uh Ujit eye, I could probably find the black market. But it's unlikely unless I can see the surrounding like vine work or whatever. Right in the face, okay. And then this guy gets sent down there. Ah, crap. I got scared. I got scared. Okay, this will be the last attempt, guys. But I got scared. I got so scared. I was so panicky and scared. I will get to the end of Spelunky one of these days if RNG allows it and I don't get scared. Got it good. trigger that trap. So, yeah. Trap triggered. Yay. I gotta itch my head real quick. Ah. Alright, grab that. Go down here. I got that. I got that. Bombs. That's great. It's wonderful. Alright, let's go in there. So far, RNG hasn't screwed me. Let's see how the future holds. solid blocks prevent explosions outward like that. Oh, well, now I don't have to worry about bombs much. Hmm. 
pitchers mitt, because that'll be useful. Ow, that hurt. Didn't even see that coming. Well, three hearts isn't terrible. I'm almost a hundred percent sure that there's a snake pit down there. Almost a hundred percent sure. Or not. I've been wrong. That's one way to kill a scorpion. Just trying to get to that without dying. I got a camera. Useful for killing bats and spiders. things that I like to see together. That's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. And I nearly have enough gold, so that's wonderful as well. Come down here. Thank you. So wonderful. Okay. I almost died there multiple times. So let's go into here, get my health back, and continue. Careful there, there are a lot of spikes. Right. Hey, a 
automatic. That's great. less bombs trying to take care of things. And yeah, that's a way to instantly get the damsel to where you want it to go. close. Okay. And there's some uh, bees. They're gonna kill me. I should have thrown a bomb and jumped out of the way. <sighs> but that's okay. Well, that was my last attempt, guys. I'm sorry I failed in this video. You may comment below, not a true gamer. I'll take the shame. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and be sure to hit the notification bell. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.